Hello everyone and welcome to the monthly romance readathon vlog that I do with Caitlin from Kate Literature, Kevin from Irish Reader and Jamie from Jamie's Library aka my besties and we do this every month. We spend 24 hours reading stunning romance books and it's honestly such a highlight of my month every month and I'm so excited to do it today again. On the TBR for this month's readathon I have Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney which I'm so excited about because you know I love normal people by Sally Rooney and this is Sally Rooney's debut which I have not read yet so very very excited and actually Kevin has already started the book he was laughing while reading it so I was like oh very excited for that and I'm buddy reading this with Kevin and Caitlin Caitlin has already read it so it'll be a reread for her so yeah very excited then I'm also going to be reading a book on my Kindle this is my new Kindle isn't she stunning this is the Kindle Paperwhite and I'm going to be buddy reading another book with Caitlin and that's going to be Equivalent Exchange by Christina C. Jones I don't even know what this is about Caitlin just said we should buddy read it so I was like yeah and also it's on Kindle Unlimited and when I bought this Kindle like recently I got three months of Kindle Unlimited for free so I was like oh exactly so I wanted to read a book on Kindle Unlimited. Karis Bradford is a woman on the brink of what she doesn't quite know. Her life is shifting rapidly and the sudden and captivating intrusion of Lake and Kimball isn't exactly reassuring. So yeah, this is a short romance, 248 pages. So this should hopefully be a quick, fun time. So very excited to read that. It's nearly 1 p.m. So I guess I'll start reading at 1 p.m. and go into 1 p.m. tomorrow. I definitely need to sleep because lately I feel like I've been girl bossing too close to the sun and I'm quite tired. So yeah, I'm gonna sleep. But obviously gonna try to read those two books and you know if I finish those two books then I can pick up another one So we will see where the day goes and obviously excited to spend the whole day with Kevin, Caitlin and Jamie And did you know that Jamie is actually an actor and she stars in Head High Which is currently airing on 3 now which is a New Zealand network And a lot of people ask me where they can watch Head High because I don't live in New Zealand And the answer for you is you need to get a VPN And the VPN that I recommend is NordVPN who is the sponsor of today's video so basically if you don't know a VPN stands for virtual private network and by using a VPN you protect your data So hackers can't steal your passwords and other important information NordVPN has more than 5,200 servers in 60 countries So you can choose a server close to you to enjoy better speeds or further away to access extra content So for example, you can choose a New Zealand server go to three now and watch head high that way and see Jamie's stunning acting in action It's also just a really good show. So definitely recommend that and obviously there is so much content out there in different countries and if you didn't know different countries have different Netflix libraries so for example the Australian Netflix has nearly all the Studio Ghibli films and I know a lot of people in America are jealous so just use your VPN access an Australian server and you can also watch the Studio Ghibli films on Netflix if you didn't know my favorite movie of like all time is Kiki's Delivery Service so you can watch that and see why I love it so much NordVPN is also really easy to use you can connect with one click or enable automatic connection for click free protection they also have incredible speeds NordVPN is actually the fastest on the market and you can use NordVPN on up to six devices and it's available on all major platforms including Mac OS, iOS, Windows, Linux and more so obviously NordVPN is just stunning so if you also want to use them you can actually go to nordvpn.com slash chloe and use code chloe to get a two-year plan plus an additional four months at a big discount so highly recommend taking advantage of that offer and see what the world has to offer in terms of content and obviously protecting your data etc it's just the way to go thank you to nordvpn for sponsoring this video and now i should get into reading so i'm going to start with conversations with friends because kevin actually was on facetime with us earlier before he went to sleep and he started this like I said I think I already mentioned that yep so he's already started this Caitlin's already started it too so now it's time for me to join yeah I obviously have high hopes because I love Sally Rooney's writing the way she writes dialogue the way she writes characters the way she comments on capitalism etc so I'm just obviously so excited oh it says a sharp darkly funny comment on modern relationships required reading also, there's a character called Bobby in this and Jamie says that Bobby is basically her and when Kevin was reading he didn't actually hear Jamie say that before and he said Bobby is literally Jamie. So I'm very excited to see their similarities because obviously I love Jamie so I'm sure I'm going to love Bobby.
Okay, so I'm on page 54, chapter 7 of... I was going to say normal people. Conversations with friends. <laughs> I definitely don't have the same feeling. Like with normal people, I got that feeling of like, wow, like really quickly. I definitely don't have that feeling yet, but I'm definitely enjoying it. You know, it definitely is a bit more bleak than normal people at the moment. But maybe that's just because I personally relate to one of the aspects and it's kind of making me sad. <laughs> But I really am loving it. Like, obviously, stunning writing, stunning commentary on capitalism, like, stunning characters. Like, really love the dynamic between Bobby and Francis. And honestly, Francis, like, obviously love Bobby, but I really just have a soft spot for Francis. Like, just love her. I don't know. I feel really sad, actually. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> like, I'm just sort of like, <laughs> God. Like, because you know how people say normal people's weak? I feel like it is, but it's like, a fun. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, how to yeah, explain it. No, 100%. Like, obviously, there's that vibe, but it's also like normal people offer up these moments of joy. Despite everything. Despite everything. And this is the everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, literally. So, I'm actually happy that I started with this. Because if this is the vibe with the whole book, like, it'll be nice to have a fun little romance to cheer myself up. But I actually got a fun little package. And it says it's a book. So, we will see what it is. Okay, so I think this is from Ink Shares. So this is The Ghost Tracks. And this is YA Horror. So the main character, Erasmo, sets up shop as a paranormal investigator. This is also written by a Hispanic author. And it is likened to Fear Street, which I really enjoyed. So definitely plan to read this in October. Okay, guys. So I'm on page 94 of this, this book. This, this is just very, very interesting. Like... This book, it's a very different experience to all people. Very different vibe, I would say. You can tell that Sally Rooney's writing, like the writing is very Sally Rooney, but the vibes are very different. And it's just very interesting because, you know, <laughs> with normal people, I read that at such a perfect time and I related to it in so many different ways. And now like I'm relating to certain things in this and it's just very kind of scary <laughs> because it kind of feels like Sally Rooney is honestly stalking me because she just gets it to the point where it's annoying. Like <laughs> Caitlin literally said, sometimes Sally Rooney getting it is a bad thing. And honestly, this book is an example of that because normal people, it was like, you know, even though it was a sad book, like, you know, it's obviously not like a super happy, happy book. Like obviously some happy moments, but you know, overall it's not like a happy book. I felt so much happiness because, you know, obviously I loved the writing. I loved so many moments. I loved how Sally Rooney gets it, but this experience is definitely more like a dark clouds over my head <laughs> because Sally Rooney gets it to the point where it's like, oh great. <laughs> like it's obviously stunning, like so well done, but I can't even fully put it into words. Like it's just a very, very interesting experience that I'm having. And like, obviously like I have a lot of tabs. I don't know if you can see. There are a lot of good moments, a lot of relatable moments. Like it's just a lot. It's not the, yep, 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 it's the, yep, 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 yep. That's what it is. And it's just very interesting. With normal people, it was like, oh, exactly. And with conversations with friends, it's kind of like, oh, <laughs> exactly. You know? And like, obviously this romance is very complex. Like, it's not really like, oh yes, I ship them. This isn't like a book. Yeah, it's messy. This book isn't like a nice little book that's wrapped in a bow, like, you know. Yeah, it's messy, it's real life, it's complex. <sighs> Very interesting. Oh, interesting. Yes, this is a good way to put it. Sally Rooney has the sharpest eye for all of the most delicate cruelties of human interaction. Wow. That's a stunning way to put it. So I just got the nicest surprise from my friend Tess. And she delivered some bubble tea for me, which... <laughs> I could cry because obviously I love bubble tea and bubble tea during readathon, like, exactly. And then she also gave me this note. Yeah. I'm so pissed. Because <laughs> you wish you had it. Um, you want to sip? <laughs> <laughs> and Penny made chocolate covered strawberries. Yes, exactly. The happiness I need while reading this book. <laughs> okay, obviously still reading on page 174 and I feel like I haven't really been doing many like updates because honestly me reading I'm just like like it's <laughs> very bleak like I said. It is definitely a different vibe to the usual books I read during the romance readathons. 
I'm probably gonna finish soon and also we want to do a fortnight stream so oh my god it'd be stunning if I could finish this and then do the fortnight stream and then be like yeah but also I want to just say I really recommend if you're into listening to music while reading I recommend listening to some movie soundtracks so I actually recently created a playlist with like my favorite movie soundtracks so for example now I'm listening to The Beach which is in Little Women it just really creates a nice ambiance when you're reading okay Sally Rooney like obviously she just gets it like I just love her and obviously Norman people was really feminist and this is having lots of stunning discussions on feminism too and I really love this passage this is a doggy moment was I kind to others it was hard to nail down an answer I worried that if I did turn out to have a personality it would be one of the unkind ones did I only worry about this question because as a woman I felt required to put the needs of others before my own was kindness just another term for submission in the face of conflict like just love her you know i might as well just go on a little tangent right now it's honestly so exhausting as a woman there's the expectation to be like submissive and really kind and like polite and like you know put together and like and because i have a lot of banter with my friends and stuff i can be seen as like the main girl and it's just so frustrating because obviously it's like common for like guys to have banter with their friends and be like oh you suck and people wouldn't say oh he gives me like mean boy vibes because mean boy isn't really a term anyway like mean girl is obviously a commonly used term and it's just frustrating i just hate all the expectations that come with being a woman very annoying <laughs> okay guys 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 no one does it like Sally Rooney. She's just so unique. And obviously I've read quite a few books in my life. <laughs> but <laughs> Sally Rooney just has, there's just something about her. She just gets it on a whole new level. And I'm like, wow. The way she describes things in the most perfect way. Like even just this line, standing in his house was like watching someone familiar smile at me, but with missing teeth. How did she come up with this? I just love her writing so much, like, maybe she's my favourite author, you know? It's just very interesting. <laughs> I mean, she's definitely one of them. I don't know if she's the ultimate favourite, I'm not going to lock that in yet, <laughs> but yeah. Also, I feel like some, like, I literally at one point on FaceTime with Caitlin and I was literally like, Sally Rooney, like, back off. Because it just feels like she's stalking me or something because she just knows, like, there are certain things that I just relate to on a whole new level and I'm like, Okay, no offense, like you clearly stopped trying to find out this information and to describe it in this perfect way. But anyway, I really love Frances as a main character. Like, I really liked her in a lot of ways, like, especially in the way that she perceives reality. And, you know, like... Oh, <laughs> I just love Frances. This book is a lot, but honestly, like, I was not expecting this experience. I don't know what I was expecting, but, like, this is just such a unique experience that I'm having with this book. And, like, I just have so many thoughts, and I'm so happy that I can talk to Caitlin about it. Yeah, and I'm so excited for Kevin to wake up and for him to read more of the book, because I'm very curious to see what he thinks. Yeah, it's just very interesting. I honestly have, like, too many thoughts that, like, it's hard to, like, even fully, like, say everything that's on my mind, but also a lot of them are spoilery, so, like, you know, I'm trying to say things without giving spoilers, obviously, but also, this is definitely, like normal people, this is definitely a book that I know a lot of people would hate, because if you don't vibe it, you don't vibe it. Like, it's very specific. So I wouldn't be surprised if I saw people hating this book, and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of, like, one-star reviews on Goodreads and stuff. If it's not for you, like, yeah, you're not gonna like it, but obviously I vibe with Sally Rooney, so of course I'm loving it. And it's making me even more excited for Beautiful Worlds. And also, didn't you say that... Sorry, I want to play some with Caitlin. Yeah. So Caitlin says that Beautiful World, Where Are You, is like a blend between conversations with friends and normal people while also being its own separate thing. So I'm very excited to read it and see the parallels and stuff. So really, it's just something. Just look at her. Stand on, lads. <laughs> How's this one for you, Jamie? I have died every day waiting for berries and cream. <laughs> <laughs> now up the octave. Berries and cream, berries and cream. <laughs> I'm a lad who likes berries and cream. Oh, for our, for our V for Vindita moment. Da -da 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 berries and cream. <laughs> I just got up to this line. I lifted one of my legs in the air and Caitlin literally has her leg in the air because that's what she does when she loves a book. The leg moment means she's loving it. And this means, wow. 
Yeah, the two leg moment. <laughs> the two leg moment is when you know it's like five stars. Okay, so I have like 30 pages left. I'm on page 290 of conversations with friends. But I am going to do my Fortnite stream now because Kevin just woke up and Caitlin needs to sleep soon. So we're going to do that. But yeah, I was just telling Kevin that this is a very like depressing book. But not in the way where something really sad happens and you like cry. It's more just like the whole time you're reading it, it feels like you have a dark cloud over you. And it's just very heavy. And there are a lot of sugar warnings like self-harm, depression miscarriages yeah there's just a lot so definitely look up the trigger warnings if you're looking to read this it is just so well done and I feel like Sally Rooney like every time I read her books obviously I've read only two books by her like this has been the second one but I just feel like I learned so much about myself through her writing and she just oh this she has just such a talent for putting thoughts into words. I just love her. Also, I feel like the main character, Francis, is definitely quite similar to Marianne from Norm People. Obviously love them both. They definitely both struggle with self-esteem, loving themselves, feeling like they're not good enough, etc. But yeah, it's just such a raw and authentic story. You know, I love those stories, so I'm absolutely loving it. And at the moment, absolutely five star vibes, and I'm sure it's going to be a five star because I only have like three pages left. But yeah, I'm gonna do the stream, then finish the book, and then I will update you on the next, um, my other plans. Just finished the Fortnite stream. It was very fun as usual. Now it's time to finish conversations with friends. And I'm on FaceTime with the gang. I <laughs> love when they answer. Let's do it. I love when you guys answer the FaceTime. The smell of your skin on me now. Coffee on your nice. flight back to your hometown. Girls don't cry. Yes, they do, though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why she decided to write a song called Big Girls Don't Cry because everyone cries and it's healthy to cry and everyone should cry. And if you don't cry, it's actually a little concerning because, like, maybe you have something built up. Like, it's good to let it out. So, I don't know why. Like, obviously, I love Fergie, but, like, what's that about? Also, I love that song, but, like, what's that about? <laughs> Guys, someone joined me. Oh, you're on your vlog, aren't you? <laughs> I was waiting for someone to join the call. Sometimes you just gotta ditch. Fine. I don't want that many friends in the first place. Fine then. Oh, <laughs> Kevin just hung up. Wow. You know what? You were holding on to the memory because August slipped away like a bottle of wine. Please, I'm not equipped to that right now. Interesting. Ooh, very interesting. Yeah, so many interesting discussions in this book. And like just the euphemisms and like the use of like, yeah. <laughs> You're a silly Billy. You're glowing, like you have like um, literal angel energy coming out of you right now. Okay, so I have finished conversation with friends, had a shower, obviously in bed now. Yeah, I'm gonna update my full you know, thoughts on conversations with friends tomorrow because <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> man just walk past me. <laughs> yes, so I'm on FaceTime with Kevin. Chloe, <gasps> there's a squirrel. <laughs> Hello, squirrel. Oh, hey. cutie. Oh my god, the tail. Yeah, so I'm on FaceTime with Kevin and he's actually in London at the moment and he's at Hyde Park. He's going to do some reading there, which is so fun. Oh my god, the squirrel's going too close to me. What? Right now. what is this? What is the squirrel gonna do? The squirrel's not gonna kill you. Sorry, I keep running a bug. It must climb up me. <laughs> that could be a fun moment. Seeing a lot of ducks. Never, Never trust a duck. Kevin, do you want to show the vlog a little bit about like where you are? 
I mean, I'm really not in a stunning location right now, so. Okay, we'll wait for we'll wait for you to get to a stunning location. Yeah, but honestly, so jealous of Kevin, but obviously happy for him as well because I wish I could be reading in Hyde Park. Like, imagine if we were there together. We will be. No. Yes. One day. You know, the ending of conversations with friends was definitely something and i'm still processing it i'm gonna give my full thoughts tomorrow because yeah i just need some time but obviously i love the book like but yeah i need time to like fully like process everything and like yep but anyway i am going to continue reading now what time is it it's 11 14 so now i'm going to start the romance on my kindle caitlin actually went to bed and she hasn't started it yet but i think i'm just gonna oh maybe i should wait for her maybe i could start a uh, mariana zapata I think you're running out of ones of hers to read. I'm surprised you even have one. No, she has heaps of books. Don't know about this. Oh, do not know about this. Oh, really don't know about this. Kevin's about this, to go in here. Scary. It's okay, I'll stay with you on the phone. Oh my god, this is actually terrifying. It's okay, it's okay, you got this. Oh, I'm literally hating this. Why do I come to sign? I do not like all these words. <laughs> oh my god, there's this one. Please don't touch me. 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 It's full of fence. That was really scary. Okay, what are your options to read? Okay, so I could do a Mariana Zapata. Yeah. Oh, I could try a fun little, um, a mafia romance. I don't know what that means. <laughs> to be honest, neither do I. I always see people talking about it. Actually, no, I'm not bothered for that. I always see people talking about LJ Shen. Vicious by LJ Shen is on Kindle Unlimited. Okay, I think I'm gonna read, yep, yeah, I think I'm gonna read this. I don't know what it's about. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna read that. I will report back with my thoughts. We need to show the vlog. Kevin's at Hyde Park! Of course the connection sucks as soon as I show you the vlog. Wait, Kevin, 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 Kevin. You have five seconds to say something interesting to the vlog. Ready, set, go. I hate Chloe. That was very uninteresting. <laughs> Good morning. So, it is the next day. I'm on 6% of Vicious. <laughs> And yeah, it's it's not good. Um, the writing is just a bit too cringe. The love interest, Vicious, is <laughs> not the vibe. Like, I really don't like him. Like, it would definitely be a quick book to read, but I just know I'm not gonna like it. So I've decided to DNF it, and Caitlin is up now. So I think we're actually going to start Equivalent Exchange, like we planned. And goodbye to this weirdo book. Also, I didn't realise that Caitlin and Jamie have already read this book and they both didn't really like it, so... <laughs> yeah, definitely not going to continue that. Okay, so I got up to 13% of Equivalent Exchange. No offence, no romance is the Spanish Love Deception, obviously other than the Spanish Love Deception, and like... If it's not the Spanish Love Deception, I don't want to read it. But also, this just isn't good. Like, they got into things straight away, which is obviously fine, but like, I need the build up, I need the connection first. The main guy is like, talking about bourbon for ages, I just don't care. <laughs> I really don't. And me and Caitlin were literally just like, no offence. <laughs> so we're both gonna take an effort because, yeah, no offence, really don't care about this. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna read, maybe I just will finish reading for now. We'll see what the vibe is. Obviously Sally Rooney's stunning, but I tried two romances and it's just not the vibe. <laughs> Honestly, I think my next romance needs to be Marianne Spada, like, yeah. Okay, so I was just looking on the Kindle Unlimited store and there's all these graphic novels and comics. And <laughs> there's the third Tea Dragon book on Kindle Unlimited, the Tea Dragon Tapestry. So I'm going to be reading that. It's obviously not really like a romance, but it does have, you know, a cute couple in it. And I just want to read it, so <laughs> very excited. This is one of my favourite graphic novel series. And I'm going to read it on my iPad so I can have the colours. But oh my god, I'm just... yeah. This is the happiness I need. This is the happiness I need. Just exactly! That is beautiful. Isn't that um, author of that series of Kiwi? Oh, I think so. This is the life, guys. It's so funny how, like, when we're buttering or something, it's like, exactly, exactly, and then it's like, <laughs> equivalent exchange. It's like, <laughs> like a radio silence. <laughs> you know, it's not the vibe if you're silent. <laughs> you know, it's not the vibe. No. No. Look That's all cool. like it. <laughs> they're in love. Oh, great. 
I'm stuck with this sweater. You should be privileged. <laughs> Say something nice. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Wow, the fact I literally like sang a duet and you didn't even continue it. I forgot the lyrics for the next bit. I'm sorry that I didn't get to you. Yeah, see, I don't like that song much, but... Of the process. We can do so there and the rust on your door. I never needed anything more. Whispers. <laughs> what the hell is that? Game? Are you sure? Are you judging my singing voice? Oh, I was judging your key that you just did. Well, I can't sing that high, Chloe. Oh, okay. <laughs> better times, I am a man. <laughs> And I can see it's us in the memory of the way we do a mama in a time. <laughs> you were never mine. Um. And Zach. I... <laughs> What's that? Um. The line, because you were never mine. Oh, I literally thought I was going to say you were like, uh, <laughs> no. I was like, this energy? No, stunning singing voice you got there, Kev. So I'm just on FaceTime with Kevin, and I'm trying to read, because I'm drawing my graphic novel. And he literally said, I hate when we're doing read and you actually read. Like, like, what a joke. Just talk to me. <laughs> Have you ever considered reading? I see your point, but I object. See, like, you just, you need to remember that, like, when you're sleeping, I'm, like, by myself, and then I'm just like, what do I do now? And then, like... I'm like, oh my god, I can't read, like, because they're all asleep, I have no more vision to read anymore, like, what's happening, what's happening, and then you suddenly are awake again, I'm like, oh my god, exactly, and then you guys are like, okay, reading time, I'm like, no, I want to talk to someone, I've been up so alone for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's a little sly little rascal, <laughs> but just how stunning, like, these illustrations, it's like a warm hug. Is she putting out a tree? Yes. I see. Okay, why are you hating on this book? I mean, it's not my fault you're showing me illustrations that are really complicated to understand. <laughs> They're not complicated. I mean, out of context, they are. I'm just trying to like, show you... You can't just show me an illustration of someone pointing at a tree. I'm like, look how stunning. It's more just like the art style. Oh, my God, you made me do. Oh, yeah, blame me. <laughs> Maybe the iPad wanted to get away from you. <laughs> it saw its flare out and it was like, okay, I'm out. I've never heard silence quite so loud. <laughs> Maybe read. Maybe talk to me. You know what? Don't you dare! Oh my god, I knew it. He left the face time. <laughs> Kevin literally missed me saying, I'll return when you're ready to talk. Oh, I was literally about to say it, like... <laughs> okay, so I finished the Tea Dragon Tapestry. So, so, so cute. I absolutely loved it. I didn't quite love it as much as the other two. I feel like the story just didn't hit as hard, but stunning illustrations, stunning messages throughout, stunning characters, like... Obviously stunning tea dragons, like of course I want a tea dragon, like that would just be the dream. And one of my favourite quotes, This is my story now and although it is not the one I expected, I'm happy that it's mine. Isn't that something? And then another one, 
I know it's hard because you are a kind girl and want to help everyone, but sad people aren't objects to fix. Give them space and show them you'll love them whenever they are ready to be loved. Just stunning. Right? Kevin, now you're a stand of the book. Kevin was laughing at the book the whole time. I said that's really cute though. Kevin, you'd actually love this series. Yeah, well, I'll read it when I come. Ah, uh, exactly. Anyway, so I realized I didn't give like my full overall thoughts on conversations with friends. This was definitely a really, really impactful book. And I was telling Caitlin that this is probably like the second most heavy read I've experienced. So the first was My Dark Vanessa. When I read that, I literally felt like I was having a panic attack. <laughs> and this kind of gave me that same feeling where it was just like this sense of dread and like, you know, it's like an uncomfortable read and very heavy. It's definitely not like a fun, like, oh, cute romance. Like it's very messy and complex. And Caitlin said a genius thing earlier. She said that, actually, how about you just say it? The two novels are two different depictions of love and how love can manifest. And normal people is about how beautiful love can be. Whereas Conversations with Friends is about how messy and damaging and toxic and tragic it can be. Yeah, honestly, genius. That is a perfect way to put it. The ending was, yeah, very... I was on FaceTime with Kevin reading it and he literally was like, are you okay? Because I was literally just like, like so much to process. Yeah, five stars, like Sally Rooney. She just does it like no one else. If you have any like author recommendations that have a similar vibe to Sally Rooney, please let me know. Honestly, I doubt there's anyone out there. I mean, there's obviously only one Sally Rooney in the world, but you know, if you have any like book recommendations that have similar vibes to like conversations with friends and normal people, like please let me know because obviously I want to try them. That is it for this vlog, I think. I don't think I'm going to continue reading because you know, I did try those two romances and it just didn't work out. And I just feel like it's time for me to stop. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out NordVPN, linked in my description. You can go to nordvpn.com slash Chloe and use code Chloe to get a two year plan with four additional months at a huge discount. If you're looking for more content, for me i have a patreon linked below which is where i upload extra content like extra reading vlogs we do a monthly live show we do a monthly buddy read etc all my socials are linked below including my twitch which is twitch.tv slash game with chloe which is where i stream games and just chatting i will leave kevin caitlin and jamie's vlogs linked below of course and yeah i think that's all i have to say hope you're all having a good day or night and i'll see you in my next video